Hi, um, I'm Sarah, and my question is, in work on human rights related to gender, you must hear and see a lot of disturbing things. How do you keep a balance between natural feelings of empathy and being overwhelmed by what you see? You know, that's a really good question that I'm not sure a lot of people would even think to ask, um, because it, it does get tough at times. You know, you go into societies um, and you, you hear from girls who are married off uh, just because their family is desperate and they figure somehow she's going to be safe and what can she contribute anyway. Um, or you, you're sitting with a group of women who have just come out of a terrible war who see no, no prospects of a decent future ahead of them, don't know what's going to happen to them. Um, and it's not hard uh, to, to begin to be uh, deeply pulled into those situations. But it's not that, um, I think I have two reactions always, usually. One is we have to do something about that. So you become more resolute about the need to address issues that really might not have traction in much of what you're doing but that are very serious problems. This whole issue of impunity for sexual violence uh, in conflict is a very big issue that, you know, the more you are presented with real people to whom it has happened, it is very hard to forget why working on that issue uh, is, uh, is important. It is important. I think the other thing is clearly what has happened to me over and over and over is the inspiration that I've gotten from people, uh, no matter how terribly dealt with, no matter what they have been through, uh, it is always immensely inspiring and awe, it's awe-inspiring in many ways that they are resilient, that somehow, despite what's happened to them, they are able to go on. Uh, and so many times, in what they do going on, it's to help other people. Uh, and so I think um, it's not bad uh, to, to be emotionally impacted by uh, what's happened, uh, but it's, it's also, it serves to keep in mind how important certain issues are, uh, and then really to, to uh, deeply respect uh, the, the resilience, the stick to the commitment, the ability to overcome this mass of humanity. And I think you're going to see a lot of that in this pandemic uh, to somehow keep going.